We're at Frenary Ice Cream in Skelmersdale. I'm Robin Evershed from Green Bank and this is Nathan Chain from Frenary. And we're here to do a, a, a short shoot on this equipment that we've supplied and Nathan has kindly let us come and do a, a shoot of his equipment. Nathan, we, we, we chose this site, yep. your site, because we knew it was a typical hard-working food factory. Okay, it's got hard use and we thought, here goes, we're going to show a real life operational really? yeah. factory with waste equipment. But just tell us a bit about your experience. How have you, how have you got on using this machinery? Uh, well, since we've had this machine, we've had, you know, our, our cardboard output has gone up. We've been more bales than ever before. Um, we've, had, we've had no issues with it at all since day one. It's, it's, it's worked perfect, really, ever since we had it. Okay. Um, the lads enjoy using it more as well because it's, it's easier to use than the old baler that we had. Um, we can do a baler a lot quicker as well. Things like that. So everyone's all around, everyone's happy with it. Okay. Yeah. So, you, so you mentioned about making a bale quicker. Yep. And um, I'm right in saying, aren't I, that the factory production actually increased by 50%. Is that about right? 50%? Yeah, um, our bale output has gone is massively up. Okay. Um, at the minute, we're getting about around about anywhere between 20 and 30 bales collected a week. Okay. Every week, yeah. Okay. And you used to have one man, if I remember correctly, yeah. doing dealing with waste, bringing it here. Now, you've increased the factory by 50%. Yeah. But has the number of people dealing with waste increased? Or? No. Labour still stay the same. There's no difference there. We still have the one man doing it. Um, like I say, the output in the factory has gone up massively because we had new line fitted. Um, faster than any line we've ever had here. It's doing a lot more. It does, uh, I think, around about a shift between 80 and 90 pallets a shift, which is massive compared to other, other lines. But, uh, yeah, it still stay the same. And not only is that one man using it, everyone else uses it in between him and things like that. It's, so it's easy to use, so anyone can use it. As Fantastic. long as they've been trained, they know how to use it, it's no problem. Very Takes good. five minutes for training. Good. We, we do try to make it easy to use, so that in an application where you've got multi-users, yeah. that can be easily easily done. Yeah, it, it's, it's very user-friendly, as you say. De good. Definitely good. Thanks. And also remember, the original equipment you had, it wasn't really up to the standard you wanted for safety. No, definitely and not. And you were having breakdown issues as well. Yeah. So, just how have you found this equipment in relation to that? Well, it's been in what now nine months, and we've not had one breakdown. So, and safety-wise, there's no issues at all with it. Fantastic. It's been perfect. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, my original goal was that you'd find the whole, the whole operation more efficient, more reliable, increasing your uptime. Yeah. Um, and that, am I right in saying that's really what you found? Yeah. Well. As, as a site, our output uh, pallets made per week has gone up massively, and we're still doing the same with the same amount of staff. So because of this equipment, it's helped us a lot. We don't have to uh, employ more staff to help us with the old equipment and things like okay. that. So it's, it's worked really well. Fantastic, fantastic. Yeah. Okay, how have you found working with Green Bank? What's what's your experience been like? Oh, ple pleasant, re really good. Um, yeah, there's been no issues at all okay. from day one. Been really good. <laughs> you said to me earlier that about the Green Bank staff being jolly. Yeah, it's, <laughs> everyone you speak to you know, seems very, very happy. Really, good. really jolly, yeah. Good. Which okay. is good. I like to think that that is like a, a culture we've tried to get in the company. It, it seems to be so, yeah. I mean, it doesn't matter what department I've spoken to or from the top to the bottom, all the way through, same. Good, good. That's fantastic. Yeah. If, if I remember correctly, we were getting three compactor loads of waste in the summer and two in the winter. We yeah. put this new system in, and we've reduced it. We've yeah. reduced it, haven't we? It, it's um, in the in the winter. It was one every week, and to be fair, we could have probably got more than that. But we had a set collection, so we just kept it going at that. But um, sorry, less collections, not more. But um, during the summer, we've kept it to two rather than three every week. Okay, fantastic. And, yeah, that's it. There's been so obviously less on the road, I say. Okay. I was calculating the cost saving of that, and I reckon based on the original transport rates, and I reckon the cost savings about four thousand pounds on the transport alone. Does that sort of make sense? Yeah, they're about yeah about that. Okay, okay. So we've 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 increased revenue. Yep. We've um, reduced cost. Yep. We haven't increased labour, despite the increase in waste no, overall. No, it's easy to use, so that hasn't had to, that has not been an issue at all, labour-wise. Good, um, and we've improved the efficiency of the equipment, health yep. and safety-wise. Yeah, I mean, there's no issues with the equipment since day one. We've had no breakdowns, nothing. It's 
service regularly as well. So fantastic. You know, so all in all, Frenaria is a happy customer. Oh yeah, definitely a happy customer. Thank you. So Nathan, I think we've covered all the key points of this project and I just want to thank you for your, for your business. We really appreciate it. Yeah, of course.